Hello, hello. Hello, good teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Fine. On my way to my house. During your way to your house? Yep. How about you? How was your day? Well, actually, it's going pretty well. That's nice. Yeah, I was able to run the car for the first time, so that's advanced. That's good. The only thing that I just discovered that the brakes are not good enough, are not strong enough to to stop the car. To what? <laughs> to stop the car. You know, it's like when you're driving too fast. Yeah. Uh huh. So the brakes that I currently have are too small. So I cannot run on the car. <laughs> it's too dangerous. <laughs> but other than that, and there's a solution. There's a solution for that. So I'm fine. I'm okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I mean, that's odd. David is not here yet. That's weird. Yeah, that's really weird. Hmm. So strange. What about you? Well, you're driving. Are you driving? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, be careful. Are yeah. you missing a lot to get home? I know, just like 10 minutes. Oh, good. That's good. There he is. <laughs> Who's Christian Alejandro? Uh, hmm. Christian, are you part of this group? No. Okay. He left. Hey, David. Hey, teacher. How are you? Doing good. Don't, it, it can only get better. Frank Sinatra used to say that. <laughs> can only be better. Can only get better. So don't worry. Things are going to be better. It's a positive attitude, okay. Huh. Hmm. I believe we are nine or eight. We're nine, good. Samantha. Huh, Samantha Marisol, no, okay. That This is getting odd, you know, the fact that we keep getting students from other models connecting to the class. Actually, Samantha is my friend. Really? <laughs> but she is an um, advanced, no, she's an intermediate model five, I think. It's weird that she has this link. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's warm up. I'm going to break the rules a little bit here with you so we can start warming up. Let me start. Or, yeah, go ahead. Whoa. Can you hear me, guys? Okay. So, okay, I'm going to break the rules a little bit. Hmm. Okay, go ahead, translate. Speaking of writing, 
No, just do it on the WhatsApp, on the, I'm sorry, on the Zoom yeah. chat, on the chat here in Zoom. Okay. And see who, let's see who gets it right first. Okay, let's see. I wish I was always right. I wish I what well, I always have the reason. Uh, so, hmm. I wish I was always right. That sounds more natural. I'm gonna stay with that. Um, another way. I wish I was all. I was right all the time. Yeah, totally. Sounds more like it as well. Hold on. Yeah, I wish to be right always. Mm, I be I wish to be always right. I wish I no no. Uh, I wish had a car sometime. Uh, that's not on the examples. Remember, we're just translating, right? I wish I could travel anywhere. I wish I could travel anywhere. I wish I could travel. I wish I could travel anywhere. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Now, there are two things that we need to understand. Number one, interpreting. Interpreting is when you are translating, even though the word's not applied correctly, you are just interpreting from one language to another, and that's done live. When you are live interpreting what someone is telling you into another language, that's interpreting with your own words. You can say what someone else is saying, replace words, it's fine. Now, translating is when you translate a text into another language, then it's pure and you can find that on books. A book that I love and I recommend you if you haven't read it, which is translated on a 99% accuracy, accuracy of accuracy is Paulo Coelho, The Alchemist. I don't know if you have heard about Paulo Coelho, The Alchemist. Yes, yes. That's an amazing story. And, and it's very well translated into English. So let's see, I wish I could travel anywhere. There's something missing here. That's why I'm, I'm saying, um, I'm talking about this, this fact. Oh, I cannot do that. 
I cannot change. Well, I did it. So let's see. Uh, I wish I could travel anywhere. Mm. They wish they didn't live so far away. Away. I wish they didn't live so far away. Mm. I wish I could travel anywhere. Mm. They wish they don't leave. Remember that we're in past, right? We're talking in present, but when you use wish, you need the past auxiliary. They didn't leave so far, it was okay. From each other, okay. I need that preposition there, from each other. She, wish, she wishes she could, <laughs> this is like a tongue twister. She wishes she could speak three different languages. She wishes she could speak three different languages. Huh, yeah. Oh. When does the control Z doesn't work on this keyboard? I don't know. It is just what I'm using. Okay. She wishes she could. She wishes she could. <laughs> she wishes she could speak three different languages. Okay. I wish I always had the reason. I wish I could travel anywhere. Mm. I wish English wasn't so difficult. That's that's pure. Yeah. Thank you. Gracias. Okay. Huh. I wish English wasn't so difficult. They wish they will leave not so far away. Huh. I wish I could go on a trip anywhere. You got it. That that's what I was expecting. Let's see. Um, where is it? Huh. I wish I could go on a trip anywhere. This is more accurate from Spanish to English. Okay, and um, that's it. Anybody else? So let, let's review. I wish I, I was always right. I wish I was always right. I wish I was right all the time. I wish I was right at all time, all the time. Perfect. Be careful uh, not to pluralize time, okay? Unless you're using time in the other way, you know? Not talking about time, but how many times you do something. I wish I could go on a trip anywhere. Was good. They wish they didn't leave so far away. Oh. And what do you think, guys? Do we need to say away? I think not. It's not necessarily, right? Okay. I, they wish they didn't leave so far. Huh. Another way of saying so far. Okay. She wishes she could speak three different languages. She wishes she could speak three different languages. Can somebody repeat that sentence without stopping? She wishes she could speak. In, uh, she wishes she could speak three different she languages. She wishes she could speak three different languages. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> David. She wishes she could speak three different languages. Languages, yeah. Languages, yes. <laughs> it's very close. Gracias, come on. Your microphone. Okay, try it. Again, uh, good. Articulation, very good. I wish English wasn't so difficult. I wish English, I wish English, I wish English. I wish English. I wish English wasn't so difficult. Uh, that wasn't that wasn't my intention. Okay, I didn't do that in purpose. <laughs> I wish English wasn't so difficult. I wish English wasn't so difficult. Wait, do we need to use where? Yeah. Okay. I, I wish English weren't so difficult. Uh, huh. Okay. I wish English weren't so difficult. That sounds better, I guess. Okay, so I got a challenge for you. Try to do this with your classmates just for a few minutes. But first, I'm going to um, do the attendance. Now, don't stop. Start thinking about sentences in Spanish that you're going to throw to your classmate and he or she needs to translate like that. Like that. Shoot me. Shoot me. Next one, okay? But let me give you an example. Can somebody give me a sentence in Spanish using, using wish? What? 
In Spanish? Yeah, give me a sentence using wish and I'll just go ahead and translate it. Desearía poder viajar a Francia. I wish I could travel to France. Someone. Huh? Someone else? Desearía ganarme la lotería. I wish I won the lottery. <laughs> I wish I won the lottery. Desearía poder entender el fútbol. I wish I could understand football. <laughs> now we're talking about football or soccer, huh? Mm, football. Yeah. Football, soccer? Is the Am same? No. American, American. American football is football. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And soccer is? Soccer is Latin football. Okay, okay. Latin Got soccer. It. Thank you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Creativity, creativity. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Vasquez, Velasquez, I'm sorry. Present. Thank you. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. <laughs> oh, there. Present. Excellent. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Excellent. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Mm, no. Okay. Oh, oh there, there he is. Francisco, you're there. Okay. Gracia Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Thank you. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. I'm here to share first. Thank you. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Remember the camera, thank you. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Camera, Jose, try to fix that. Juan Miguel Bram Mejia. Here teacher, present. Thank you. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Where's Wendy? She's not here again. Okay. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. You know, uh, Luis Albert, my brother's name is Jose Francisco Manuel. <laughs> it's not, it's unusual. It's unusual to have someone with three names. Three names, yes. Yeah. And I guess you know, but, or you may have, you may have already guessed this, but Americans don't use more than one name. Yes. They only use one name. One, one name and, and one letter, maybe, for example. A middle a, initial. Yes, yes, is, um, for for example, if I say my my name, mm -hmm. uh, Luis A. Albert, uh, use A letter A. But how how do you like to be called? What's your favorite? Steve. Steve. Okay. So everybody, you know, we call Luis Albert <laughs> Steve. Okay. <laughs> Steve. Okay. Good. So let's go. We only have ten minutes. Okay. Um. So 10, 15 minutes the most, but take this seriously. Take this seriously as a challenge. Challenge your classmate, okay? Ask as many, I mean, give as many sentences as possible really quick. One thing, and I'm gonna say it in Spanish, I don't mind. Cuando hablamos en español en clases de inglés como esta, el mensaje va directo al subconsciente. So, no planees, solo actúa. En especial en estos breakout rooms, toma la batuta y de un solo empieza a dar oraciones a tu compañero, ¿ok? Don't go like, ok, I go first. No, you go first. No, you. Ok, I'm going to start. Ok, let, no, just start. Ok, fine. And then, oh, oh, time's up. <laughs> ok, let's go. Each of you guys are sending me to different groups. Come again. Uh, you're sending me to two different groups. Oh, oh, I'll correct that. Thank you. Room one and room three. Mm -hmm.
Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Jose Osmin, Jarvin, and Francisco, please join your groups at, just to listen, at least to listen, okay? Go and join your groups. So, another one, eh, desearía tener superpoderes. Like a Superman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I wish I could be a hero. <laughs> Superman <laughs> Tenny. <Tenille. laughs> I remember that song. You have superpowers. Uh -huh. Yeah. Desearía poder comer pupusas. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What was the translation to have superpowers? Uh, I wish I could be a hero. I wish I could. Mm -hmm. I, I wish, wish I could have have, have superpowers. Superpowers. I, I wish have. I had superpowers. Oh. I wish I because had superpowers. He said, "Desearía tener Tenme. superpoderes," right? I okay. wish I had superpowers. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, I wish I had superpowers. Okay, so uh, the sentence before it was. Desearía poder visitar Francia. So in English could be I wish I could visit France. Yeah, ah, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, so Luis said that uh, he wishes that he wishes eat pupusas. Yo desearía comer pupusas. He wishes Called eight pupusas. No. Mm -hmm. Cool. The mm, bird is the pass. Mm. Called eight. Cool. No. Cool. Change Each the. To eight the, the, pupusas. Or called eight pupusas. Call it. Okay. Because Why we are you, adding cool? Wool is chains. Uh, the wool or wool? Wool. No. With, with cool. Cool. Ah, okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. use wish, then plus noun phrase, and mm -hmm. plus a verb in past. I uh, understand we use cool and the follow up verb uh, chains into the past. Okay. Okay. Eh, sería otra. Entonces, sí. Entonces, este, va. Le dije, va, de, hagamos otro, otro, otra vez. Desearía tener un perro. I wish I had a dog. A dog. Ajá. Uh -huh. I wish I had a dog. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm. Desearía vivir en otro país. Yo desearía vivir en otro país. I wish I I I wish I live. No, I wish I live live in another country. I had a house. I wish I had a house. Hmm? Uh -huh. Desearía poder comprar 
comprarme mis zapatos favoritos. I wish I could buy my favorite shoes. ¿Qué sería poder viajar en el tiempo? Um, I, I wish I could traveling. Traveling on the time or what? <laughs> <laughs> think about it. Think about it. I wish I could travel back in Back in time. She didn't say back in time. She said, I wish I could travel uh, through in, in time. Uh -huh. in time. Could be through? Through time a través del tiempo. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you okay, William? Yeah. Okay. But my tree is not good. Oh. It doesn't matter. Okay. Desearía. Desearía tener otra vecina. <laughs> Are you in trouble? <laughs> okay. Uh, I wish I. Desearía tener, dijo. Sí, desearía tener otra vecina. Um, Someone doesn't feel good about the neighbor. I wish I had another neighbor. neighbor. Um, I wish I had another neighbor. Uh huh. I wish I had another neighbor. Desearía Hello teacher, hello everybody. Hello. 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 Problems with the, the internet connection, but uh, I I think I use the show. Okay. Okay. For reading, I wish I had more time okay. for reading. For for reading. Yes, I wish I had more time for reading. I think. What do you think, Grace? Yes, I think it's that's correct. It's okay. Okay. Grace is yeah. the teacher now. <laughs> He's the, teaching us. Okay. I have, I have one. Uh, Desearía sacar mejores calificaciones. Uh, I wish I had best grades. I wish I had better grades. I had or I, I could. I wish. Or, or I got. I got. Yes, I wish I got better grades. Yes, maybe. It sounds well for me. What do you think, Grace? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I think I would use I had better grades. I have. Uh, 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 what do you think? Dora, what do you think, Dora? Dora is good at grammar. Dora, are you mm. are you type are you typing to, to Dora to, to send you the new computer? <laughs> what do you think? Dora. Okay. I... You are right in the chat, Dora. Yeah, I, I, I know you can do it. Yeah, I wish I had then. I, I wish I had uh, more right, time Dad. for reading. Okay. I wish I had. Teacher, are you agree? I wish I had, okay. Another another wish, Grace? Do you agree? I don't know. I wish I I, I, I wish No, I'm just correcting. <laughs> Ah, yeah, do you agree? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's a common mistake. Don't worry. Are, are you... Do you agree? Do you think it, it should be I had better grades or I got better grades? I wish I had better grades. Had. had. Yeah, I wish I, I had better really grades. Got. I wish I got to obtain. Okay. Mm. Oh, so had 
says like but great to is hold to have. hold something when you hold something on your hand you have you have it okay. yes you can use get but in this context it will be misunderstood okay. hmm? we were discussing a, a moment ago that about that uh, uh, what was great? I, I wish. I wish it weren't so hot. Is that I it weren't. It weren't it because wasn't. the pronoun, the pronoun is, is it because it's the weather. I wish it weren't so hot. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, okay. if you talk about some uh, the weather, yes. yes. I wish it weren't so hot. Excellent, Fernando. Another wish. Sería entender el uso de wish. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, do it. Go ahead. I, I, I... <laughs> go, go ahead, but... I... guys. Give me, give me just a minute. Okay, I'm gonna stand up for a minute. Okay. I, I, I wish I, I, I could understand or I understood. Could what do you say, Gracia? I could I understand. Wish I... I understand. Good. Uh -huh. Yeah. Good. Maybe could understand. Could understand. Sorry. Uh, the uses of wish, or the wish uses. Wish. Wish uses. Mm. I wish uses. I could understand. The wish uses. Okay. The uses of wish, or how to use wish. In English. How to use wish is better. Yes. How Thank to you. use wish in English. Yes. Yes. Okay. Dora, okay. we are we are waiting for you, Dora. One wish. I wish I was a seven for fifteen million minutes. <laughs> okay. I wish I was. Fifteen millions of train up the stars. Okay, so um, how many are we? We're back. We're back, right? Okay. Okay. So remember, it's very important for you to practice. I'm sorry, important, important for you to practice. Uh, no matter what methodology you use, no matter what you do, as long as you're practicing, um, little by little, you will be improving um huge steps by the way so yesterday we watched a video we saw a video um with uh related to um our main topic right now and we have to continue with that same topic tonight's topic is um describe the characteristics of social entrepreneurs it's a social entrepreneurs but yesterday i was waiting to do to start a debate so if you watched yesterday's video, did you write down any new words that you found interesting on the video? Hmm. Interesting. I, I really talking about my, my words. R O Y R O I is R O I and holistic. That's Re return of way. yeah we 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 discussed how David's David's uh, yes, yes, words yes. return of investment and social social return social return investment. Yes, of, yes. of investment uh, but yeah that that's just a um, that's a term that you should have learned in on intermediate wait no that was on intermediate six if I'm not mistaken 
when you started when you started marketing and the the uh, the chain the distribution channels distribution channels uh marketing distribution channels all of that was part of the the last modules of intermediate if i can remember correctly and so those are terms that you were supposed to learn in those modules when you learn how to conduct a feasibility study. You remember how to conduct a feasibility study if you were in these modules? I no? remember the topic. <laughs> in a... Well, it's very simple, you know, it's just like wondering, uh, but doing a research, studying the niche of market that you will go on for. But I don't want to talk too much about that. Um, I want you to tell me, I want you to picture that you have $100,000. No, that's too much, right? Let's picture that you have $25,000. You have $25,000 on your hands and you know that money comes and goes, right? It just yes. evaporates. Out of nowhere, I was watching a TikTok. You know what is a raccoon? raccoon yeah, raccoon. I so a raccoon, raccoon. is this these guys with uh, with a masquerade on their face. You know, they look it's like little foxes. Black, saying animal. Gray it's... and black, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so I was watching this TikTok where a raccoon grabs um, a candy cloud. Is that the way you call it? I can't remember. You know, this candy a candy cloud, is that the right the right translation, I guess? You know, candy cut a cotton, a candy cotton? Candy cotton? Cotton, cotton candy. Cotton, 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 cotton candy. candy. No, it qualifies oh. cotton. Algodon, there's two candy. Um, sugar yeah. cotton cotton sugar. Oh my god. <laughs> a candy cotton. So he grabs it and he puts it into the water. Ah, yes, I, yeah, he goes I, like, I, I saw the, the, the video, it disappeared. <laughs> Some, someone sent it on, on oh. payday on the chat at, at work, you know, they send it and they go like, my my first day with my payment, three, 30 minutes later, <laughs> where is it? So pay, 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 everybody. So, you know, that, and it's reality. I mean, you get paid and... Mm -hmm. You start paying stuff. Pay all, all the bills. <laughs> all the debts, yes, all of your loans, the basic services, right, and everything. Yes. How do you call basic services, by the way? Basic, basic services. services. Mm -hmm. uh, Utility bills. That's what I'm trying to say. Utility bills. Okay, that's a general term for Americans. If I say to an American, give me one of your utility bills. Utility bills involve gas, water, electricity, right? Because they pay for gas. I guess you know, right? Mm -hmm. And there's not no tambos like here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So going back to the point, money goes away really quick. So you have $25,000. What do you do? You want to start a business. You have never run a business in your entire life. So what's the first thing that you do? Okay, the first thing is to get advice. Get advice for, for expert people, for expert people about uh, what the topic is. Uh, Where? They have some, some experience, something like that. Okay, you get, you get, how do you call that? You get an advisor, isn't that expensive or do you have to invest on that? Um, I see, I have to invest, but in the in the first time I, I, I maybe I go to social media or something like that, or, or YouTube oh, to learn. Did you to learn some, some basics, yes. That's good, good point. Yeah. Okay. And can I have the, the security, I, I maybe I can, you go to a man that can give me better advice. Repeat when I feel confident. Ah, okay. When I feel oh, confident. It's actually yes, not when yes. it's, it's once 
I feel confident. Once, okay, once, yes, I feel confident. Mm -hmm. I can go yes. for it. Yes. I, I can go for it. Yes, okay. I, 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 sorry, I, I remember uh, I, I was uh, following the, this guy, Max, young Maxwell. Young Maxwell. Yes, Maxwell is a writer, uh, was a preacher, then a writer about uh, leadership and something like that. Uh, yes. and, and he sent me an, an, an okay. invitation to a seminar that uh, twenty five dollars, <laughs> twenty five dollars, and, and the seminar uh, give you the, the the I don't know the the the, uh, the hook the hook of the of that prize was you you will have one hour one hour face to face only you and the guy. This guy, this was so 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 suspensive twenty five dollars. Did you did you pay the twenty five dollars? Uh, no 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 no. I only get the, the invitation and, and put away because I. I, I That's a scam. <laughs> be careful. That could be a scam. And, and Americans fall easily on scams. I'm telling you because I work with that. Okay, I, I work with that. I get very often an, an old lady saying exactly what you said, David. And he asked me to go to the to the to the nearest gas station and purchase three thousand dollars on prepaid cards and send him the pictures of the cards. And I did. I sent the pictures of the cards. Oh my god. They do, they do fall for that. Okay, so get advice from an expert. That's David's, that will be David's first step. What do you think, guys? But advice about what? I will do the same. I, I'll invest uh, in, uh, I guess, different stations. I don't know how many they will be, one or two with expert people. There are some... I don't know the name is, well, uh, advisors? Counselors, advisors? Counselors, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, I will look for an economist or I will look for someone that works, maybe investing in the, uh, how do you say this? Or maybe make it, make, making someone with the expertise of trade, or something like that. Hmm. I okay. guess you pay a fee for something like that, but if I got an ROE that is sound sounds attractive. Attractive, uh huh. I will do it because they are the expert, and of course you need sounds to pay. appealing. Appealing. Oh, what a nice word. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> okay, sounds appealing. Uh, I know you need to pay for their service. I will do it. Okay. Now that's part difficult. The money, not all the money. It's not easy. It's money. not easy to get a good advisor or counselor nowadays because there are too many, too many uh, funny people stating they are advisors and they're not. So be be mm -hmm. careful with that. Okay, but so going back to the point, so you guys will get advice on what to do with your money. Okay, and then what? I, I need we first need to decide uh, something that we can do, and then uh, get a uh, uh, get training or something like that to to do the best we can do. Something. Some, something some. in the way she moves. <laughs> something. <laughs> Attracts me like the other lover. Something in her eyes. I can't remember the lyrics. Okay, come on, everybody else. Gracia, Iliana, Fernando, Luis, come on. What, what comes next? So you, go, you already got advice on how to start your business, I guess. What, what are you gonna do next? I think after the advice, uh, maybe I 
maybe define what kind of, of business I want to run. And after that, I want to provide a good or service. And after that, ask for the advices of the experts. More advices, okay. Yeah, more advices. And after the, the advices, maybe, I remember when, when you mentioned a couple minutes ago, the, the word feasibility. I remember something that we saw in, in, the, in the past model um, about the feasibility study. If mm -hmm. the business that I want to run is like have like the, the, a good structure, if I have to think how to invest my money and what is the best way to invest that money. So you have to do the feasibility study to know if, if it is a good idea. That right. Business. And, so and, maybe, and there's where you face trouble because you have to decide if you go for an existing product that yeah. historically has proved to be efficient um, on return of investment, right? So there's history and that that's comforting. For example, I have someone who wants to invest right now on importing cars to El Salvador, just one car per month, and he's going for it, definitely, because he found, as David and Anna said, and you have said, you know, a good advice for someone who has the experience enough to assure, to guarantee that this $5,000 will be giving back $500 every month. Is that a good return of investment? Yes, that's very effective. $5, I mean, $500 for money that could be just sitting around, you know, without producing anything, that's a good idea. But what about emerging markets? Will you invest in, in on an emerging market? Emerging market, I'm sorry. Uh, well, I will go to a consultant. And first off, I will make a, a research about where to put my money. Mm -hmm. And if you're talking about uh, emerging markets then i will go and see if in anywhere else in the world uh, that emerging market uh work and make a contrast with uh with that country and our country because something that works in maybe europe will not be so effective in el salvador because of different mm -hmm. cultures and so on so maybe i will go for it if the statistics say so I'm just trying to make you think. Another example, the pandemic, the quarantine, hmm, a nightmare. Hmm. That it was a great opportunity for some people to invest. Invest on what? Masks, um, self-protective equipment, you know, PP, what, what was it? PPE, personal protective equipment? Can't remember personal protection equipment we did my wife and i we, we bought a lot of masks you know uh the kn5 i can't remember the name and we were selling boxes for like 25 dollars the box i mean and we sold them they were very good quality but in um, in a matter of a month the most the prices went down again because the market was crowded, I don't know, infested with a lot of people selling masks, selling oxygen, I don't know, many things. And nowadays, there's people still with the stock of masks, you know, trying to recover their investment, and it's not going to happen. I mean, you bought them expensive, and you have to sell them very cheap, even at a lower price than the real cost. Um, but there was a market that actually was very lucrative. And it was, I was talking to a friend today, the cars market. There was a lot of people, and this was opportunity, opportunity well, how can I say this? 
people taking advantage of people going in bankruptcy because there was a lot of people going unemployed, selling their cars, their houses to feed their families, right? So if you had the money, you could find very good prices on cars, on used cars, on, on houses. So that was a great opportunity. So my point is, last example, right now, you heard that there's a new law coming for motorcyclists, for cyclists, right? Where you have to wear a vest, the new transit laws in El Salvador. Yeah. Yeah. Where will you invest your money, Juan Miguel? If you had $25,000 right now, what would you do? Thinking about that, what's coming? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> It could be a, a big opportunity, but only if you, uh, how to say this? If you have the big piece of the cake, yeah? Not, not uh, obviously with, maybe with a huge market campaign and try to advertise, mm all of this related with the product that you are selling. For example, the best, uh, the materials uh, of the best, or uh, yeah, the best materials. Uh, and and don't, don't not sell only the best, yeah? All the benefits around the, the product, yeah? Try to sell the, um, not not just the product but also the experience related with the product the features the, yeah, the features the plus uh -huh, the qualities <laughs> oh so, uh-huh yeah maybe the plus of this okay um, i think but uh, you have to think that many people or obviously you want for example you want much people they import not only uh, for for example not only 100 best yeah you have to think uh, out of the box yeah but but in huge you, yeah uh, or, or in in a, in a big amount of, think or, big or, think big yeah think big yeah because you can you can point to you can aim sizes. yeah you yeah can you can aim, aim. yeah mm -hmm. you can aim for two sides for one uh, maybe could be the um, the resellers yeah mm -hmm. but, but then you went to the point of distribution point you're thinking yeah. about the whole process already but <laughs> right now you you have to decide what where where are you going to invest so let's say you invest in vests. You know what? I thought about it. As soon as I heard about the law, the first thing I thought is vests. Mm -hmm. And yes, much people, not many, much people were complaining about not having enough vests, not finding the vests anywhere. Yes. Yes. And suddenly I went to V3 and there were a lot of vests reflective vests. How did they do that? How did they know that they were going to need that huge inventory? So there's always people going um, forward, you know, they already know this news beforehand. So they take advantage of it. Yeah, that's, that's the point. That's difficult. It's very difficult. Now, is that an emerging market? My last question, and then we move on for you to prepare for an exposition. All of us? Or yeah, only... no, two groups. We're going to do two groups and do a debate. But my point is, is that a, a, an emerging market? The example of the new law coming and where you can invest your money. Is that an emerging market? I, I would say so because uh, the quantity of best 
that were on the market or required from the market before uh, didn't match the actual inventory. So yeah, I will say so because like on the previous example, the uh, masks, there was a little, very small market before, but with the pandemic, it became huge. Actually, yeah, demand, the demand was huge. But um, what, what is the other, the other side? I'm sorry, the demand, oh, the, the offer. offer, the offer was low because there were not enough products, but suddenly, and again, the same, the same weird, strange event happened. Pharma San Nicolas, Pharma Value, all of them were bringing all of this mask and everything. So how does this happen? It happens because they have people, very smart people, doing what we're doing, discussing, hey, what's coming? Oh, we have a new sickness. I heard that in other countries, they're going on quarantine. Hmm, what are we going to need? Oh, people is going to be enclustrated for a long time. Hmm, so we will not be able to, oh, and they started. Pharma value, okay, you know what? Let's do a, deliver, a quick delivery service, you know, uh, uh, drive through, a drive yeah. through. So they just drive and pick up their medicine and go. And that's it. And there's no contact with the teller. And it worked. And then yes. what, what happened? Other pharmacies, another, other gross, other, um, oh my God, other pharmacies? Yes. Saint Nicolas. Saint Nicolas. They, they tried, they, they mimicked, right? The drive through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's almost like, what happened here? That was a trend. It's a trend still. Everybody's doing drive-throughs to avoid the customers. So we working from home, I mean, a catastrophe sometimes needs to happen to create a necessity. And I want you to think about that part. That something has to happen to create a necessity. Now, there are occasions where you can create a necessity right or you can influence customers or potential customers to create an influence but that's part of sales already right and uh, uh, where is anna she left <laughs> she's good at sales i think she could uh, teach us a little bit about that but creating the necessity is not easy and it all depends on the product that you're selling of course but if you're really smart and you have good saliva, <laughs> you can convince anybody of buying you rocks, for example. You heard about the guy selling rocks on boxes, right? For, as pets. That's too much. Okay. So if you got the idea, we're going to work on yesterday's video. There's a difference and there is a chart on your WhatsApp that I want you to discuss in, in your group. So. I will split you in two groups only, just two groups, so you can discuss in these two small groups. And this is done randomly, okay? I'm not deciding who goes where. For example, in the first group, I have Francisco, Gracia, Ileana, Jose, Wilfredo, Juan Miguel, Luis, uh, Steve, um, William Alexander, that's the first group. The second group is composed by David, Dora, Fernando, Jarvin, and Jose. What's mean? Okay. I think I'm leaving someone here because they, they just joined. Anna Claudia just joined. Okay. Okay, don't worry. I'll, I'll make sure you go into a group. So I was saying, I'm splitting you into groups. Group number one, we'll talk about uh, the characteristics and the pros, the pros, and later the cons of social entrepreneurs. Social entrepreneurs. And group number two will talk about the pros and cons of business entrepreneurs, commercial entrepreneurs, as we saw yesterday. You got it? Now, you have been on debates before, right? Right. Remember that this is a this is a competition, and the winner is the one that accepts the other 
team's argument. So if I say, for example, Lena, um, I'm going with the social marketers, the social, I'm sorry, the social entrepreneurs, and I tell you, hey, you know what, uh, the social entrepreneurship is better than um, commercial entrepreneurship because we go for people, we, we cover a necessity. Your products don't cover necessities. I cover necessities. And then Liana goes like, yeah, you're right. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Got it? That's a debate. That's a debate. Defend your position. Don't forget it. So talking groups to see uh, what's the best option of arguments that you're going to say. Questions? Okay, we, we see the video is one, and then- Not necessarily. Our... You were supposed to watch the video yesterday on your free yes. time. Yes. However, there are some charts. Uh, Steve shared some charts as well. I shared an image, and that image is very clear. Traditional entrepreneur versus social entrepreneur. Um, so scan, think about that chart and you will get a lot of material to defend your position. So again, group number one goes for, what did I say? Social entrepreneurs, right? Group number one, Francisco, Gracia, Ileana, Jose, Wilfredo, Juan, Steve, and William. That's group number one, social entrepreneur. And the others are going for a traditional entrepreneur, okay? Yes. Okay, let's... How much time do you have? I'm gonna give you a maximum uh, 28 minutes. So at 9.30, we start the debate, okay? Does that sound like a plan? Yes, no? Yes, no? yes. Okay, yes. okay. okay. Okay, I'll be there with you, don't worry. Let's go. Uh, por favor, nadie se queda acá en este, en este room. Todos aceptamos la invitación, aunque no podamos participar, aceptemos la invitación, okay? Let's go. Hello. Regarding social entrepreneurs, um, I think we will be able to win. <laughs> um, so uh, the table that Mr. Linares sent uh, says that it is motivated by social gain. Um, maybe that will be a very good tool to defend our point. <laughs> okay. So, would you like to um, uh, make a list of the pros? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Social entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. The stress, the stress is in ter, ter, ter. In interpreters. Interpreneurs. Interpreters. Thank you. I want to, teacher, I want to, to open a, a whiteboard so we can maybe text the pros and cons, but, but uh, I had a message that is enabled to load this yep. whiteboard. Try it again. Okay, retry, retry. Nope. Okay. New whiteboard. Um, no. Mm -hmm. um, you cannot open a whiteboard during a screenshot. Ah, someone is. <laughs> Me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just one thing. Remember copyrights. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> so just the whiteboard, just the whiteboard. Yes, you can type your uh, ideas yeah. there. Yes, yes, yes. I'm still an able teacher. That's weird. Maybe somebody else could try to. No, it's enabled. You can share. Yeah. 
There you go. I see. Yeah, gracias. That's Thank gracias. You. Okay. Is that a Jamboard? I think so. Okay, good. Sorry. My dog is chasing cats. <laughs> we can... Okay, I'm going to look for the bit feature about this and social entrep entrepreneur entrepreneur is talk about motivated motivated by social gain highlight innovate innovate and creative Um, so motivated by social gain, we could say that this is going to uh, make uh, something better for for the world. Yes, something better for what? Sorry, I, I could not hear you. For humanity. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, so the stakeholders is not only the entrepreneur, but also um the people who receive these uh benefits then lower lower or lower levels of self interest higher levels of social conscience conscious in higher levels of risk taking. So regarding highly innovative and creative, um, what should we say? Not convince me about uh, the the business only for for getting money mm -hmm. because transactions and uh, uh, okay, but you say it that way maybe if because uh, both of them. Even the social entrepreneurship or, or traditional entrepreneurship to transactions, they, they sell things. And, and I think we need to understand the first what is each one to know what, what we are defending, what is, that, what is our position. And uh, mm -hmm. I don't have uh, enough information about that. And for I, think, me, mm -hmm. I think both those transactions, what happened, yes. that's what I think, that both they do transactions, but once one, the social entrepreneurship used like a flag, a social situation in order to present their self like, or their company or ONG like uh, the solution for something. But at the end, they need they need money to support their admin operation. people. Uh, they are not going operation. to live just breathing. <laughs> they need to eat. They need to uh, move from one place to another. They need to use cars, pay for services. Yes, but that is a, that is not a good argument to 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 go into debate because. <laughs> Uh, is a, a logical thing that uh, every church is uh, uh, orphans and uh, all of the people need money, all obviously. Mm -hmm. 
the main scene is uh, the only object is to get money or or we are uh, doing something with the social needs or but it's more yeah, important social focus you say mm. uh, yes because uh, they need money. Every every person, every people need money, and we, and we don't use that. We don't use that. I like, we understand that. Yes, we understand that they need money, but we can do use that in a debate because it's a weak argument. It's do you mean logical. talk? Do you mean talk about others' advantage, like, uh, for example, uh, business entrepreneurs offers. Independence, independence mm -hmm. for people provides uh, employees or, to yeah. other ones. Yeah, this one personal is personal growth mm -hmm. provide uh, employment it, for others. Employment for others, okay. Employment for yeah. others. Creativity. Yes. That is a good argument, Ana Claudia. That is a good argument because only with social entrepreneurship we don't cover the needs for the people. That is a good mm -hmm. argument. Oh, you're going for uh, social, right? Social. Yeah. No, no, no. We are the, the business traditional one. The traditional one. Uh -huh. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. It's true, true. Mm. And, and, and in that case, yes. If it's people without the vision, it's people uh, without the money, if people without the enterprise, many, many uh, person uh, will be out of the business or, or will don't have a job. And uh, we saw, for example, uh, with this uh, 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 artificial intelligence, is uh, many people is getting out of the of their jobs, and and that uh, situation. So we need a, a new vision, a new leadership that that open new new uh, jobs for the people, and uh, that is the, the traditional business people looking for money that you need is a. Unnecessary for them, and uh, they need the people, and the people need the job. So that is a good argument. They they, they provide jobs. They have vision. They they get uh, the countries uh, get developed. What do you uh, think that the traditional entrepreneurship uh, becomes like a mentor, teachers? They teach uh, other or yeah, but they teach other. They teach only what they need. No, no, no. They, but they, they empower others to come up or become an entrepreneur because uh, uh, when I you... don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. They are interested inspire. in that. Do you mean inspire other people? May in, uh -huh, inspire. That it will be the, the best word. Inspire others. But, but but that that situation is that the inner self of the people. If I see the people that the. Uh, uh, growth in, the, in their business and ah, oh, I can do that. Uh, if uh, it depends of the people, not of the organization. Uh, for example, Simans don't want all of the employees of the Siman uh, uh, became become an entrepreneur. But they are a corporation. They are not, uh, I, I think but, we're talking about individuals. No, we are talking about business, every kind of business. In general, uh, okay. Walmart, all of the people that uh, only see you uh, a, a dollar in your <laughs> in your forehand. <laughs> yes, that, that is that is the truth, and we need to know the truth to defend the positions. Mm -hmm. And and the 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 good argument is they provide employees, not independence, because they don't. They don't want you to be independent. They want you to, to be a people need to work for them. And uh, uh, this is a good argument. They provide employees, not independent, because they don't provide independence for people. They don't I would say also that they make the, the, the economy of the country grow or, and move, being a constantly... Yes, is this uh, a, is this guys, a guys, I will recommend you to see the chart, study the chart a little bit and get get the straight point, be on the same page, the four or three of you or five, be on the same page on what is a traditional interpreter. Think about it. What is it? 
because yes, it's true. I mean, it's, it's like the private private uh, companies in El Salvador, the private sector of El Salvador. However, we're talking about inter in interpreters, people who are jumping into this business, not not set companies, you know, they're not mm -hmm. interpreters. They, they already have a whole history, as David is saying. It's true. They don't want more people on that business. However, you can become an interpreter, a commerce interpreter. That's That has always been the way. And that's your point. How, how what, what is it? What are the characteristics? What's better to be a commercial interpreter or to be a social interpreter? But first you have to understand okay okay yes yes Sorry. Go, go ahead teacher go ahead no go ahead to study the chart keep going keep going i i have the chart but uh, uh what what thing i need to know is we are talking the point of view of me like an entrepreneur uh, if uh, what is better for me or, or we are talking about what other people think no you're going to say I'm a commercial interpreter and it is better to be commercial interpreter than social interpreter because this, 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 and that is better. So that's that's the, the position that you're going to defend. Why? Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you, do you know what social interpreneurship is better? Because uh, you guys have higher levels of self-interest. You just want to make money. You don't care about your product covering a, a, a primary a primary necessity. It's like, for example, I'm, I'm selling beans. I'm selling beans to poor people, but you sell beans, you want to make money. You want your profit. I make a small profit, but I'm helping people. Oh, what can you say, David? <laughs> that, that is the scene I, I, I am trying to understand. Uh -huh. because yeah, because the position that that's your understand. position. You go for the money. You go for the money. You're selling because you want to earn money. Wow, that's difficult. Yes, but uh, uh, the people who sell the, this kind of product. Mm -hmm. May because they pay the maybe the social entrepreneurship pay mm, less taxes uh, because they have some uh, some uh, facilities I don't know and the people who uh, sell only for profit they pay the uh, all taxes in a, in a idea work <laughs> work because but we think that that is the, the case. oh no no but yeah but right now forget about reality. Yes. You you yes. are a traditional interpreter. You are and, motivated, and, and, motivated by financial gain. You seek personal or shareholder gain. If somebody's investing, you know what is a shareholder, right? Fernando, yeah, everybody. A, sh yeah. a sh shareholder, you know, somebody who invested on your company. Okay. Higher levels of self-interest. You just want money for yourself. You want a better house, a Ferrari, okay? Lower levels of social conscience, conscience, conscience. I'm sorry, conscience. So, you are conscious that society is there to give you money. You don't care if, for example, if you're selling beans, you don't care if they expire in a month. If they're going to be ruined in one month, you just want to sell them. You don't care. You want money. Higher level of drive and determination. You're determined to sell those beans before the end of the month. It doesn't matter. That's your perspective right now. Got it? Money is the only yes. thing that matters. Yeah. Money is the only thing that matters right now for you. Yeah. Don't you tell got me it. about social change, only money. Nah, no, no, no. Exactly. I don't care about the environment. I don't care. I need the money right now. That's your. That is difficult, David. You you are right now on that position, and you have to defend it. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. It's... Come okay. on, guys. I I, I seem like uh, the the word that <laughs> was in my meeting. David, this is to defend it. 
they missing the the wrong group. Yeah, it's you have to defend the impossible. <laughs> that's that's the deal. This is English. Remember, you have to become someone else. When you're a teacher, you become someone else. Yes. Okay, that's critical. That's critical acting. Okay, I'm leaving you. I'll go to the next to the other group. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Okay. 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 Okay, then let promote creative and innovate ideas to solve problems. Have in a baker to solve problems. National stance. Hmm. If I were you, I will be working on my statements. You know what? I don't care about society. I just need money right now. I need to buy a new Ferrari this month. And I'm selling these beans. These beans are expiring on June 30th. I need to sell, I don't know, two tons of beans. I need the money right now. You are thinking about the poor people? Oh, come on. <laughs> yes, we are. But how about your mark in society? Do you wish to be remembered in history as a person who had a lot of bins and didn't give them away? I wouldn't give them away. I have to feed people, but I need the money as well. I need to gain some money, you know, out of selling those bins. So we could get to a financial arrangement. Maybe you could lower the price and then it will be benefit for both of us and the poor as well. You're selling each pound of bins? For two dollars, I'm selling them for two dollars and ten cents. What's the difference? The benefit, benefit of society. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got the idea, right? That's the debate. That's the debate. So think about your arguments, okay? And how are you going to answer these arguments uh, to the other team, okay? To reply to their arguments. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be difficult. They are going for the money. You're going for society. So for you, it's easier, I'm sure. Keep going. Keep working. I'll, I'm, I'll be here. Take your environment or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, how is the dynamics going to be like? Uh, first, the uh, group is going to expose, and then the other group is going to answer. There will be an opening argument. I will make a toast, you know, throw a coin or whatever to see which group goes first. So whoever goes first will say the first argument. And you will attack, okay, with another argument in favor of social entrepreneurs and so on and so forth. That, that's the idea of the debate. Okay. So what do you think about these sentences? Uh, I just found them on a, on a web page. 
that's why I made uh, I stayed there the Walden University. Do you think this sentence will be a good start? Uh, so, uh, how about we open with this statement? Uh, maybe uh, I just pasted it from someone else, so maybe we can include. It. Uh, so would you, would you like to add something for the trouble uh, opening statement? Well, what what do you think is enough? Uh, all these points or sentences, in order to 
to debate <laughs> with with the other other group. You're not the providing idea, the, you're not providing employment opportunities. We do. Have you heard mm -hmm. the the saying that uh, if you feed someone for one day, that person will come back the next day. You know, instead, if you teach them how to do it, they will be able to eat every day. So we do that. I mean, if we sell products, we have the ability of investing on on other things. You know like helping people to know how to work better and et cetera. Okay. Wow. Return argument. Although you give employment, we give hope for people who are unemployed and unable to get a job. So we go farther than you do. <laughs> you might resolve it for some, but we will solve it for many. But you go offering free things, you know, like free courses, and they're not good, let's face it. I mean, if we if you pay for something, is always better than getting free stuff. You know, you don't get the whole the whole package. If you buy a course, for example, an English course, for example, and you pay for it, it's better than a free course. Not all of the time. I will disagree, Mr. Linares will disagree. <laughs> <laughs> you got the point. <laughs> this is the debate. That's the debate. There has to be a rebuttal speeches every time somebody throws in a a statement, you have to do a rebuttal. Okay. Get ready. We're almost done. Because that boy didn't want to uh, purchase one of those things, Pandora. But that is a business. It's not, and they use it like with feelings. Oh, this means this and this. For me, it's, that is garbage for me. I'm sorry. I don't know if some one of you use it. But that is, uh, for me, is uh, you are wasting your money. There are other things, important things, like not to purchase Pandora. <laughs> but the, the point is that the money or the power of money or the power of purchase is a uh, uh, yeah. acquisition power going over and over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, but at the end, they are looking for transaction for money. Money rules the world. Money rules our life. If you don't have money, you cannot pay for, for food. You cannot pay for many things. So money is important. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We are ready. Ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. I don't know how this is going to work. work but we are ready. Let's just wait for the others.
<laughs> okay, I think we're ready, right? So remember, there has to be an opening statement. In other words, somebody's going to say something awesome, something great about their type of entrepreneur, whether it is social or commercial. And the other person needs to um the other person needs to agree or disagree. No, it's up to you, but remember you have to defend by making rebuttals. You know what is a rebuttal? What is a rebuttal? Yes. Anna Claudia, in your own words. Oh, a rebuttal is to uh, discuss your idea. You say something, but I need to say my point of view and I need to uh, tell you the advantage or disadvantage and why I disagree with what you are saying. Yeah, and this happens on cells all the time, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't yeah. have money. <laughs> Can you <laughs> write more, teacher, please? I mean, what's the difference between my keyboard, my, my HP keyboard and your Dell keyboard just because the one you're selling me has lights? <laughs> no, it's because <laughs> Dell keyboard is the best. It's the number one in the world, but also because lights offer you a <laughs> better uh, environment to work. And oh, really? It relaxes my eyes. That's right. Mm -hmm. And also you're able to continue working at night. And and too, is it, isn't it too noisy? No, no, no. Because you can uh, adjust the bright of the light on the no, keyboard. No, but okay. But I don't like the lights, you know. No, I'm talking about noisy. Is that the, the keys are noisy? No, no, no. They are no? not noisy. They don't have... Oh, you don't know your product. Come on. No, they are <laughs> not noisy. I don't sell Dell anymore. anymore I but... know, I know. I'm just playing a character. But I love Dell more than HP. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, yeah, the one I'm so. using is HP and the kids are getting sticky, you know, huh? with huh? time. But yeah, I have had Dell keyboards all my life and they're 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 rough, you know, they're really made for combat. For, <laughs> so they're good. Okay. So I'm gonna throw a coin. I'm gonna do a toast right now. So let me see. I have Anna versus David. So, ladies first. Ladies first. But we are in the same group with David. Yes. Oh, really? I'm sorry. So, yes. let's go with. <laughs> oh, you know what? Yeah, it's okay. Anna, um, eagle or face? Face or eagle? Eagle. Eagle? Okay. Let's see. Oh, look at you. So, they start. Okay. <laughs> so, the opposite team is going to start with the opening statement. I think gracias team, right? Yeah, okay, good. It's up to you, right guys. So there goes the opening statement, it's all yours. Go ahead. They are going to start with the opening statement? Yes, what's the point of the debate? To prove who is best, okay? Commercial entrepreneurs, or social entrepreneurs. Social. Hi, so uh, regarding social entrepreneurs, uh, they contribute to economic renewal of the region or country where they live and operate. They are a catalyst for, so well, we are a catalyst for social and environmental change. Uh, we generate social value and inspire others to join and make a better world together. So we invite you to come and join the social entrepreneurs because we go for uh, world peace. We go for humanity. We just are one, just one. <laughs> ambassadors uh, okay. for. But what was your no, thank first? Thank you. I don't agree with that. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't agree with that because uh, even though you use the as a flag the social uh, the social uh, theme or situation, always money rules the world. We you need money to buy food. You need money to buy fuel 
for the cars, you move on, you need to pay someone for cleaning, for services. So I don't agree with your idea because money rules the world. If you don't have money, you if you don't produce, if you don't get the money, it, you don't have the uh, transactional way to get things. So that is the reason why we defend and we uh, agreed to work in the traditional entrepreneurship because we provide jobs, we make people to grow. And in a direct way, when you um, create jobs for people and you make the local economy to grow, you are making others to grow yeah. too. For example, you are providing food to a family because you are paying to an employee. So always money rules the world. So what about the people who have no money? Somebody what else. <laughs> Me, teacher. David, come on. Another statement, right? Someone no, else no, no, no. no, no, no. Somebody, <laughs> to, somebody to, to, to make a rebuttal against what Ana Claudia said. She yeah, said I'm... that they provide employment more than social entrepreneurs. So what's your statement? What's your rebuttal, Liliana? And she also said that money rules the world, but remember that if you if the if your company doesn't have the, the a good impact or if the people don't have a um a good interaction or a good opinion of your business and the people is is uh, you survive because of the people if, if they don't buy your things, your stuff, your product or your service, you don't have the money. So you have to have a good impact. Remember that uh, we provide social entrepreneurship provides a uh, hope for the future. Yeah. And nowadays, a lot, a lot of companies think about the future, think about uh, not just I have to sell stuff. So this is stuff, I, how this, this kind of stuff impact in, in the society impacts in my environment so yeah maybe the rule the money is important but if if the people don't trust in you they don't buy your stuff so, but you agree with me that you need money to make all your transactions you agree with me that you always need money you need to generate money for example you're making if a social entrepreneurship company like a company that sells the solar panel of course, they are trying to change the, the set mind of people, but they are always selling the product at the end. So they are making a transaction. And even though those things are, they are in higher price than a normal electricity uh, source. A misconception about social entrepreneurship is that they only benefit uh, or they do not produce a benefit, but they do. They benefit the stakeholders, which is the society as well as the investors. So most of the time you might see NGOs that they do not generate any profit, but there are some other NGOs that do generate profit and they are capable of, of sustaining themselves as well as helping aiding others. So yeah, that, that might be a misconception, but we do generate a social change and make a uh, uh, promote social and environmental well-being as well as opening ways to fight for social rights and make a change in the constitution we make a uh, history so come join us but at the end you agree with me but at the end you agree with me that you need money for everything even though if you need to mm. recharge your cell phone to make a phone call to get new members for your society or if you need to move up yeah always money rules the world so you need always you're doing a transaction you always depend on money so at the end why to cover or rename a company with the, the name of social something if at the end we are doing the same we have the same structure we have the same goals we have the same admin panel so it's the same so it, excellent, it's excellent. let me yeah. let me moderate let me moderate steve okay. fernando um, uh, juan miguel go okay uh, I have to say this. I agree with you that money has an important uh, point in the society. Yeah, but remember, social is social entrepreneurs. Yeah, they could look or they could seek. Oh, okay, we could seek um, not only 
revenue related with money. Yeah. We see or we are uh, related with revenue um, as a plus to the society. Yeah. Uh, okay. I can sell whatever that uh, my, my company, yeah, or my in entrepreneurship, yeah. Yeah, my entrepreneurship uh, produce, yeah. Obviously, uh, I need the money to uh, to renovate the um, the machinery, the um, the raw materials, or something like this. Yeah, I need the money. We need the money to to do that. Yeah, but um, as a as a social entrepreneur. Uh, my plus, yeah, or uh, the plus that we offer to the society is go beyond the money, yeah. Uh, for example, I can sell uh, paper bags, yeah, but what could be the plus about that? Yeah, the raw materials I bought from, uh, for example, not from a huge company, yeah, but also with a small uh, businesses, yeah. And we have a very high impact on these people, yeah. Yeah, I know, obviously, it's all related with money, yeah, but what is the impact that you could do in society, yeah? Not only for the money, yeah. Um, but also for feel comfortable to these local businesses, yeah. Okay. Uh, to 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 be more um, empathic, yeah, with these people that uh, look for uh, their money to live every day, yeah. But you have an impact on that people, yeah. Buying the raw materials or something like this, yeah. Okay. We are we we are clear that money has a, a a huge point in society. Yeah, but uh, our plus is go beyond that money. Yeah, we do the same with my my, my the time. Anna Claudia, yeah. it's my time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Turn, turn. Uh, yes. Suppose uh, Juan Miguel uh, Grace. You are a CEO of a social entrepreneurship. What the the suit you are using, the clock you are using, the phone you are using, the computer you are using, the car you are using, the shoes you are using, the church you are using. The world can't live without a entrepreneurship. A traditional approach. You need the car, the, the truck, you need to transport your products, become a art from a, a traditional approach. And uh, who, who pays more uh, taxes? Uh, the social entrepreneur can live, can survive without the traditional entrepreneurship you need you need you want the best computer what is the best computer you, you can go with the abacus or or paper yeah i understand and, and your you point. need the best if the best is uh, we, we the best comes from the people that uh, but is looking for money because they sell the best product like uh, he said some tell something about uh, your company, but uh, if the people don't agree with your company, but uh, Coca Cola, Coca Cola, every, everybody knows that is dangerous, but is the refreshment more seller in the world. And uh, uh, I was uh, talking in the group about this. Uh, uh, this guy that uh, uh, Microsoft, uh, Bill Gates, Bill Gates was the, the richest man in the world. 
Richest. In riches. Thank you. And in some point of his life, he, he, his life, he gave the half of his money. He was a traditional entrepreneur. Uh, he was looking for money. Yeah. But he invests in, in the whole continent of Africa for water, for uh, water clothes, for many things. And he gave the half of the, of, uh, about uh, four uh, uh, billions or millions, something like that. I, I didn't know that. Uh, his wealth. Yes. And, and he invests in social development in the whole continent of Africa. And he didn't and work? He, uh, uh, and he call for other people that was billionaire to say to, to do the same and, and, and he put a lot of money to work for the people get a, a, a WC without water and uh, to to give something with the with the water uh, what was the first the, the 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 beginning of that the traditional entrepreneurship they okay. Can okay. Uh, let, let, let me hear. Let me hear Steve, um, William, Fernando. Before we finish, we're missing only three minutes. Come on, guys. I second that David's opinion. <laughs> I second <Yeah>. David's. <laughs> really? Money. Yeah, money but... is important. Social entrepreneur is important, but. At the end, money is the object, and we can use a part of the profit for social change, like Bill Gates do. So, that's my opinion. Uh, I think it is. We need a balance. Uh, we need a balance. Uh, social entrepreneurs is important because you can change your mind, your ideas. This is an opportunity to give uh, uh, opportunities to other people that they don't have is important to me it's important money yes but the most important is people i i i think that is 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 not money if maybe if you have money but if you don't have a um help some people that need um or not people maybe environment is important people environment if you only think money 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 and you don't help the environment people you can be um could be devil you could be uh devil death but money money get excellence you, I got you. Okay. Uh so maybe to close the debate, I have to say I uh, I agree with both parts, but I disagree with something. Um in a utop utopical Utopic. world. Yeah, yeah in, in an unreal Utopic. world, <laughs> in a perfect world. Yeah, uh, we could have social entrepreneurs, social companies, uh, commercial entrepreneurs, commercial companies have programs that you hear about on Intermediate 6 or Advanced 1 or 2, can't mm -hmm. remember, uh, the social responsibility programs. Yeah. Yes. Remember? So that's, uh, that's what they came up with when the millennials we we came out with this necessity of saving the world, saving everybody, reducing population and so on, right? So it is possible, but it will only work if there was willingness from humanity to contribute. Let me give you a clear example in short, in small, uh, in a small environment, my neighborhood. In my neighborhood, there have always been problems with thieves, with insecurity. So when I moved to this neighborhood, I lived around Selectos Miral Valle. I don't know if you know that place in San Salvador. So there were no gates. There were no gates. And we are on Boulevard Constitución. There were no gates. 
So the first thing we did, we, we installed the gates. That was 10 years ago. We're safe. We have security guards. Okay. But then the streets were ruining. Nobody wanted to contribute to fix, to repair the, the, the streets. So it was the, munici the municipality who took the decision and the government actually through the new programs and et cetera. They repaired the streets, the whole neighborhood streets. New. Oh my God. We were so happy that we started getting together, putting up a plan to improve the internal park of the neighborhood and it's working. So the point is, how does that work? Everybody puts a little bit of money. And here's the point. I don't have money. Okay, you can help with water from your from your faucet. You can help with clothes, whatever you have, you can contribute with that. But in the end, in the end, we can sell those things and get money to buy other things that we need. So in the end, you really need the money. But the whole point of selling something, it could be to help others. Let me give you a clear example. Since like five years ago, I don't know if you heard, Shakira is supporting, what is it? The UNICEF? Foundation. UNICEF, right? UNICEF. Yeah. They, she has her own foundation. Pearl Jam, my yeah. favorite Pearl Jam, my favorite band, they have their own store. If you buy something, like 30% of the profit goes uh, to help the poor and so on. Okay, really quick, uh, the pronunciation of these two words, you say plus, not plus. 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 It's like an off. Plus. Plus. Yeah. plus. plus, 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 plus. Comfortable. Next word. Next word has two different pronunciations and this is a gift to you from me um, some of you may have been with me before and this is something that I use a lot to convince to convince um, stubborn stubborn people like me I'm stubborn are you stubborn what's stubborn teacher I think it's a double B, and I always have a dyslexia issue with this word. Yeah, it's double B. Stubborn. Are you stubborn? No idea what's a stubborn? I have some idea, but I don't know what it is. When so you uh, see my obstinate. Uh, yeah, yeah. You don't like to be corrected, and you think you're right all the time. <laughs> That's to be stubborn. This website that I just sent you to the WhatsApp group is very useful, but it only works word by word. What it does is it looks for one word on YouTube videos, and you can go skip forward or backwards on the video and just listen in context. And then you can go to the next video and listen to someone else saying the word that you're looking Same for. Word. Now, how does that work? Listen and repeat. And my best advice, look at the people who's speaking, you know, at their lips. Look at their articulation. For example, if they say, if you look for the word schedule, or if you look for this word, comfortable, comfortable, or comfortable, 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 comfortable 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 two different pronunciations they are valid you will find both on if you look for comfortable i prefer comfortable it's more use so i hope it it helps you it's very useful you will see obama you will see a lot of people you may know on on those videos but obama is very common <laughs> on this on on juglish juglish.com it's very useful okay Okay. okay, thank you, teacher. Out to go. And tonight I'm staying with Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez for 10 minutes. Okay, teacher. Good. Okay, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present, teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. 
Present. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present. Okay. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Good night. Good night. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Your teacher present. Thank you. <coughs> Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Thought I saw Jarvin around here. He was right. Okay, Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night. Yeah. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Excellent. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. I'm here, teacher present. Thank you. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Night night. Night night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte and William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you. Good night, guys, and great job on the debate. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Tomorrow, good night. Bye. See you. Wow, they left really <laughs> quick. That was fast. Okay, Mrs. Flores, tell me. I, I have two questions for you. Number one, how have you learned English up to this point, you know, for how long have you been learning how? And number two, what do you feel is your area of improvement? Is it speaking, understanding, reading? What is it? Uh, I, I, I uh, learning English for four years. Mm. But it's a uh, basically in 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 English corporativo. Mm -hmm. But um, I I I think I I need to I need to improve my speaking by by speaking and the grammar grammar written. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. Why do you think that grammar is a problem? Uh, well, uh, structure the sentences. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's easy. It's very mm -hmm. simple. Do you have a, a book, a notebook for your classes? Yes. Uh -huh. You do? Okay. So I will recommend you something, okay? Um, try to do this more often. Mm -hmm. Just select um, a verb, okay? And then a word. For example, if I say jump, I, mm -hmm. I, will, I will use um, strong colors, strong colors, okay? And I okay. will use I will use a word related to the verb, for example, mm -hmm. rope. I'm just giving you an example. Mm -hmm. So I use red. Look at that. That's red. Mm -hmm. To understand the verb, I'm gonna use jump, which means correr, right? Mm -hmm. And rope means cuerda. Okay. So far, so good. And then I will start doing positive, okay, negative, and question. And if I want to go beyond, I can do a WH question. So for example, I have jump and rope. What is mm -hmm. the most what is the most difficult tense for you, Dora? It's a Past participle in, in... Oh, past perfect. Past perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Huh. Now, first we have to understand, right? Mm -hmm. Primero nos tenemos que ubicar en nuestro propio idioma si nos cuesta un tiempo gramatical. Dígame mm -hmm. una oración usando correr y cuerda en pasado perfecto en español. Eh... He tenido que correr hmm. con, la, con la cuerda en mi mano. 
Wow. Ok, he tenido que correr con la cuerda en mi mano. Ahora, pasado perfecto sería yo... Yo había corrido con la cuerda en mi mano. Yo había... Wow. Había tenido que correr. Ajá. <ríe> uh -huh. Vamos a ver. I Ahí. have, uh, I have jumped, I have jumped. Uh -huh. Metimos el verbo correr. De hecho, yo me he equivocado, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad que me equivoqué, Dora? Sí, teacher, se equivocó. Sí. Porque el significado de jump no es correr. Saltar. Ya, yeah. ok. Rope. Ahora sí. Uh -huh. Cuerda. Perdón, yo la confundí de seguro. Ok. Uh -huh. so, ahora sí. Ya tenemos positivo, negativo, question. Uh -huh. Y si queremos WH. Uh -huh. Ahora. So, ya podemos decir, uh, ok, saltar cuerda. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería en presente, en pasado perfecto? El pasado perfecto es una acción que ocurrió antes de una acción en el pasado. So, si yo salté la cuerda. Es pasado simple. Eso es pasado simple, yo salté la cuerda. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Qué pasó antes de que yo saltara la cuerda? Uh -huh. mm. Mm. Pues. <ríe> Ajá. Uh -huh. En cambio, uh -huh. si yo ocupo el pasado perfecto, tendría que decir había. Había, habías, habíamos. Mm. ¿Verdad? Sí. Entonces, aquí es donde, donde viene lo interesante. ¿Cómo entonces tendría que decir la oración en, 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 en español para ubicarnos? Porque ese es el punto. Sí. Como, como adulto, y eso se lo digo por experiencia ya de 10 años, como adulto tengo que ubicarme en el tiempo gramatical en español primero para adaptarlo mm. súper rápido. Entonces, mm. yo salté la cuerda, pero antes de que tú llegaras, Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yo había saltado la cuerda. Uh -huh. Yo <ríe> entonces, había saltado la cuerda. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces gramaticalmente sería. I have jumped. Ajá, uh -huh. jumped. 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 Uh -huh. Jumped. Eh, the rope. That's it, the rope. Uh -huh. Otra vez. I have jumped the rope. Uh -huh. I had jumped the rope. Ahora, uh -huh. usualmente, tiene que ir, ir algo más. ¿Cómo pienso en el complemento? ¿Qué podría decir del complemento? Y esto le va a servir mucho. Preguntarme, how many times, uh -huh. en todas las oraciones que haga, no importa el tiempo gramatical, uh -huh. puede preguntarse, uh -huh. how many, how, when, ¿verdad? Hacerse las preguntas WH. Entonces, uh -huh. I had jumped the rope. How many times? Uh -huh. I had jumped the rope three times. Three times. When? In, in the morning before uh, before uh, lived Uh -huh. Before leave the house for my house. work. Mm -hmm. Leaving the house to work. Mm -hmm. Easy, ok. Entonces, mm -hmm. ¿qué estoy respondiendo acá? Estoy respondiendo cuántas veces, cuándo, mm -hmm. ok, ¿Cuándo? y cuándo, cuándo siendo bien específico. Entonces, eso solo es para tener una unidad de complemento. Entonces, ahora voy con la negativa. Mm -hmm. I hadn't. Excellent. I hadn't. I hadn't jumped the rope three times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Et cetera, right? Et cetera. Okay. Yes. I mm -hmm. hadn't jumped. Now you have to say I hadn't. 
I, I hadn't heard. jumped, I... jumped, uh -huh. I hadn't jumped the rope. Okay, I hadn't jumped the rope. I hadn't jumped the I rope. Have, I haven't jumped the rope. Two Very times. good, good job. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's make mm -hmm. the question. What comes uh, first? Mm -hmm. have, uh -huh. have, have I jumped the rope three times? Jumped. Remember, jumped. Jumped. Mm -hmm. jumped. Mm -hmm. jumped. I, had I jumped the rope three times? Mm -hmm. Okay. And lastly, what can I say? How can I make a WH question? Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> Why I have? Oh. Mm. Why? Bien, las preguntas abiertas mm. se vuelven abiertas al agregar una WH antes de la pregunta cerrada. Es la misma estructura. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Why have? Mm -hmm. Why, Why had I jumped the rope? Bien. Ahora, ¿por qué me detuve un poco más con usted? Quiero eh, uh -huh. entender eso, ¿verdad? Ya hice un ejercicio, ya hice una oración, la misma oración en positivo, negativo, pregunta, W, H. Uh -huh. Ahora, en el cuaderno, continúo, agarro otro verbo, otra palabra, diferente verbo, diferente palabra, que están relacionados. Puedo continuar con esto. Ahora, el lunes hago cinco oraciones con su positivo o negativo uh -huh. pregunta, todas. Uh -huh. Es decir, me van a salir 20 por 5, 25 líneas, 5 positivas, 5 negativas, 5 uh -huh. preguntas, 5 WH. Diferentes verbos, diferentes palabras, uh -huh. cambia el sujeto. Uh -huh. Y digamos que como el presente perfecto es el que más me cuesta, lo hago el lunes en el cuaderno. El martes, ¿qué voy a hacer? ¿Cuál es el siguiente tiempo romántico que me causa problema? Ah... El presente perfecto, voy a seguir conversando. Uh -huh. Y el miércoles, el pasado simple. Y el jueves, ¿ya? Y ahí voy, uh -huh. ahí voy. ¿Qué va a pasar? Dice Pareto que el 20, 80, 20, ¿no? Siendo negativos, uh -huh. dos palabras se me van a quedar, dos verbos. Sí. Si, siendo positivos, se me van a quedar tres verbos, tres palabras, wow. Ahora, no es solo de hacer las planas, sino que buscar la manera de encontrar la pronunciación adecuada de lo que he escrito, y eso lo uh -huh. puedo hacer con el traductor de Google, y escuchar uh -huh. y repetir, escuchar y repetir. Claro, requiere una cosa nada más, disciplina. Sí. Consistencia, disciplina, uh -huh. perseverancia, ¿verdad? No tirar la toalla. ¿Ok? Ok. Yes. I Segu got it. <laughs> second, second suggestion, uh, you can send me a... Uh, uh, You can send me an audio if you want. Me puede enviar un audio de 30 segundos, no más de 30 segundos, contestando uh -huh. cualquier pregunta. Hágase una pregunta a usted, prepare la pregunta. What, uh -huh. what did I eat? What did I eat yesterday? Uh -huh. ¿Qué comí ayer? Uh -huh. Y me contesta en 30 segundos, me envía ese recording y nomás yo tenga tiempo, le doy feedback. ¿Ya? Va. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Good night, Dora. Take care. Good night. Thank you.